Hi there. I'm talking to you. Well, not just you. I'm also talking to the trillions of microbes inside you. Oh. You don't know about your own microbiota? Then let's back up. Everyone has a microbiota. It's all the organisms that live in or on the human body. Most of them are in the gut, and these microorganisms include thousands of species of bacteria. The good guys in your gut digest your food, synthesize your vitamins, fight off disease, and more. So are trillions of them enough? That's where probiotics come in. Probiotics are a growing health craze, found in everything from high-priced supplements to pet food. But what are they exactly? Probiotics, scientifically speaking, is a live microorganism which has a specific health benefit when we consume it. These live microorganisms are usually bacteria, sometimes called active cultures, and can have a range of benefits. To be called probiotic, a food item has to be administered live and be scientifically proven to have a health benefit. For example, live microbes are present in certain food items to help carry out the fermentation processes that make them. We'll get to that later. Of course, if making the foods means the cultures get heated, think bread, or processed, like beer, the cultures aren't so alive anymore. Apart from the right foods, we know we can get probiotics from pills and powders. Another easy way to add probiotics to your diet? Kavita's sparkling probiotic drinks, master brew kombuchas, and apple cider vinegar tonics. And when you consume probiotics in any form, you're adding lots of live organisms to your system. There are many different things you can do to have a healthy gut microbiota. So foods like yogurt and cheeses and kimchi, kombucha, these are all interesting foods which have been produced by microbes themselves. And what do they all have in common? They're fermented. Fermentation is the process of using live cultures to preserve and enhance foods. Take kombucha, for example. This fizzy drink produced by the fermentation of tea with bacteria and yeast dates back over 200 years before the common era. Royals in China's Jin dynasty considered kombucha to be a longevity elixir, and Genghis Khan's soldiers carried it across Asia and Europe. Now it's spread worldwide. Consumers in the U.S. alone bought $400 million worth of kombucha tea in 2014. So we know that kombucha is a popular fermented drink made possible by microbes, but what do we know about the health benefits? Some of the best evidence for probiotics is for reducing the intestinal problems. Each probiotic is different, so it's really important that we understand that not all probiotics are the same and that they can carry out uh, different functions in the body. It's a complicated topic in the midst of ongoing research. What we know for sure is that a microbiome is like a bustling city of bacterial activity. These incalculable microorganisms hopping a ride in our guts may keep us feeling pretty good. So, treat them well. <laughs> <laughs>